beautiful people. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you are here with me. And I definitely appreciate that to all of the new people stopping by my channel. Hi, you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on that bell notification so you're notified each time I post a video. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey y'all! So today's vlog is going to be a little bit different. This vlog is going to be a decorate with me. Y'all, I am finally taking care of this hideous corner. I know y'all see it when I do my clean with me's. And since with everything going on, I've just decided to do a whole rehaul of a couple of areas in the house. So if you want to see how I tackle this hideous corner with my Pinterest inspiration, then definitely keep on watching. And so first things first, right now I am unboxing my bookshelf that I got from Target. I have it pictured right here. Y'all, this thing was only $25. Initially, I was going to go with the one from Big Lots, but they did not have it. And believe it or not, it was more expensive with Big Lots. And so I'm just going to go ahead and open this up, get a look at the, um, the instructions and figure out what it is I need to do to get this bookshelf on and popping. I can't keep up with your mood swings What is trouble in your mind? Are you doing business to test me? A man at handling this type of thing Why I don't get it, you say it's a man Y'all will definitely see the girls in and out of the videos like they only wanted to supervise. They were all gung-ho about wanting to help, but when it was time to help, they were like, nah, fam, <laughs> we're not helping. And so you'll see them jump in and out of the frames like so. So the instructions for this bookshelf were definitely easy to read. It said that I needed three tools, but I only ended up needing two, which was a screwdriver and a hammer. Um, it said that I needed an electric drill, but I didn't need that because I wasn't mounting this to the wall. But yeah, y'all, the instructions were definitely easy to follow. Now, I know it is just not me that's currently doing home improvements in the home with everything that's going on and everyone pretty much being home. Like, I know y'all are definitely working or doing something in your houses. So in the comment section below, let me know what is a project that you're currently working on or what is something that you want to try and get accomplished within the next couple of weeks. I would love to hear all about it, y'all. Drop it in the comments below.
something I wouldn't do. And so now I'm just gonna go in and start screwing these pieces into place. Um, like I said, y'all, this was definitely easy to follow and it really didn't take that much time for this process. I just wanted to make sure again, like I said, I got everything right because I am notorious for skipping steps when it comes to putting things together. No. is putting the backing onto the actual bookshelf and I decided to flip the backing so that way the little hole that you see um, basically towards the bottom of the screen that is actually at the bottom of the bookshelf because I want my cords to actually feed in that way versus having it at the top the instructions have it for it to be at the top but like I said, it's gonna be at the bottom. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and hammer these tiny little nails to adhere the backing to the actual bookshelf. I finally stopped running now. With you I found my peace somehow. Let go of every thought that was holding me back. Yeah. I'm in love with you in every way. The joy you give me every day. Makes me forget that I was troubled before Don't know if I'm dreaming, I'm slipping away I hear your sweet voice, then I see your face I never knew you could love someone like me You climbed my tower and you set me free this little um, storage bin here from Target. It is $10.99 and 
Leah actually picked out this color and it goes perfectly with our den. But y'all, I ended up getting this because it's so large and it's able to put all of our little cords and things of that nature in it. And I loved it because it has these handles, which will make it easier for me to feed the cords through the handle and through the back of the bookshelf. But right now I'm just looking and I'm like, y'all, this is a little bit too big and it's oversized, but trust me, wait until the end and you'll see how all of this comes together. Do something wrong now, packing all your belongings. Say you wanna take some time, but if you say we'll meet again, why'd you have to take everything now? Baby, are you liking? Have you met someone? Tell me now. I better stop crying. y'all so this lamp we purchased this from the christmas tree store it was $19.99 and leah also picked this lamp out as well um i really like this lamp too because it came with the actual base and it comes with the with the shade but yeah like i said leah picked it out and it is definitely definitely a nice piece in addition to this bookshelf corner y'all wait to the end i'm telling you it y'all y'all's mind is just gonna be blown you can't have a bookshelf without books so the day before the girls and I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up some books you guessed it for a dollar and I'm just spray painting them you know just kind of a color scheme to match in our den and I'm gonna use my Cricut to make some personalized books so definitely stay tuned so you can see how they come out Okay, y'all, so my books are dry, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere my vinyl. I am just using some Cricut Black Permanent Vinyl, and I like this vinyl because it's a little bit glossy. You could definitely use Oracle 651, um, but for me, I just had this on hand, so I'm definitely gonna use this. I could have used brown too, but I kinda like the way that the black stands out, so definitely stay tuned to the end so you can see how it all comes together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and weed out the excess vinyl and then I'm gonna adhere it to my book. Okay, just a little fun fact, you guys. I did not Mod Podge my book. So just make sure if you opt not to use the Mod Podge that you go in with your painter's tape. Not only will this adhere to the vinyl, but it will not rip off the spray paint from off of your books. So if you're looking to go about it that route, I definitely suggest using the painter's tape. When I get you back, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Cause I don't wanna lose you. 
I hope you feel that way too No, I don't want to lose you Baby, don't go Oh When I get you back, oh yeah I promise you'll never leave me When it comes to you and me There's no one else I'd rather be When I get you back, oh yeah Okay, you guys, I am just gonna do a little bit of a before and after so y'all can see exactly how much of a dramatic transformation that this corner is. Let me tell you guys, like looking at this, I didn't even realize how crazy this corner looked, but now that I have my bookshelf all nice and, you know, set, like, what was what was I thinking? Why y'all ain't tell me that this corner looked a hot mess? But nonetheless, this is the before and after. And I'm going to give you guys a quick recap of all of the things that were purchased. Okay, you guys, so just a quick recap of everything that is on this bookshelf. As mentioned, this lamp and the lampshade together was $19.99, and we purchased this from the Christmas tree store. Thank goodness for Leah and her good eyes because this definitely ties in perfectly. These books, I purchased them from the Dollar Tree. They were a dollar a piece. The vinyl I had on hand, and then I also purchased some spray paint from um, Walmart for $3.97. So so basically this whole like craft right here is probably about $12 and some change. This succulent, I also purchased this from the Christmas tree store. Tried to look at the Dollar Tree because they definitely had some there, but this was priced at $12.99. And then moving on to the storage bin, as mentioned, I purchased this from Target um, for $10.99. Like I said, I love this because it has the handles and I am able to feed the wires through. And yes, it does stick out some from the bookshelf, but once you have it against it, you know, you really can't tell. And I was able to feed the wires. I'm trying to get in there so you guys can see it. Feed the wires through the handles and then also feed it through the back of the bookshelf. That was the whole point of me flipping the backing around. And so, yeah, you guys, that is it for this renovation fixing my whole den you guys so if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you never miss an upload you guys and until next time you guys i will see you on the next one talk to you soon bye